When ski resorts started to pop up across the country during the mid 20th century, it was no surprise people were drawn to the winter sport. But long before the days of sharpening and waxing, skis used to look more like this. It was more recently that these boards started to transform. The first significant changes were like um, in the early and mid-90s. The, uh, the skis used to be very long and uh, straight, and uh, the um, side cut started to increase. Skis became wider at the tip and tail and narrower in the middle, as well as shorter in length. The new shape made it easier for beginners to turn the skis, to initiate a turn. Um, and the shorter skis made the skis a lot more nimble, so they were a lot easier to handle. Snowboarding has also evolved into a popular way to get down the mountain since the early 1960s. But both can be frustrating if you're new to the slopes. Experts say, though, to just ask for help. Take a lesson. <laughs> it goes a really, really, really long way. And don't let the cost of skiing keep you from trying it out. Many shops rent or lease to own equipment. We offer lease programs for kids and adults, um, so we understand our clientele is, you know, trying to trying to have the uh, the least fiscal impact as possible. And if you're lucky enough to have your own gear, take care of it. Pete says there's no such thing as oversharpening. In Bangor, I'm Aaron Thomas.